I had invited my friends round to my house to play, but we were bored. We'd played all the usual games and mucked about like we usually do, but now we wanted something different to do. Suddenly, I had an idea. Let's make a camp, I announced, and everybody agreed that it sounded like fun. But where? We thought about it, and then I had a fantastic idea. Let's go into the loft. The trapdoor leading to it was in the hallway, and my dad had spent the weekend boarding it out. He hadn't finished yet, but there would be enough space to make a really good camp. And the best bit was that no one would know we were there. A secret camp is much better than an ordinary camp. I stood on a stool so that I could reach the trapdoor. My friends all stood around me just in case I wobbled and fell off. On the trapdoor there was a bolt. I slid it across and then gave the door a push. It fell backwards and into the loft. Then I was able to pull on the ladder that my dad had left up there and pass it down to the others. Once the ladder was safely balanced, we all climbed up it one by one. I waited until last because I wanted to hold the ladder steady at the bottom. When all my friends were safely inside the loft, I climbed up the ladder myself. Once I too was safely inside, we pulled the ladder up and closed the trap door so that no one would know we were there. We all felt very pleased with ourselves. Our own secret camp. It felt exciting to be hiding where no one could see us. I explained to my friends that they must only stand on the boarded bits of the loft. Everywhere else, there were only rafters. There were loads of boxes all around us. I had no idea what was in any of them. So I decided we should explore. We all pulled out a box each and opened it up. Inside were all sorts of things from the past. Old baby clothes and toys that everyone teased me about. Then, in one of the boxes, we discovered some really old toys that must have been my dad's when he was a child. The coolest thing was a metal train set with loads of track to build and even station houses and trees to put around the edge. We decided to put it all together, which didn't take too long with all of us helping. Each little piece of track clicked into place until we had a whole train track that weaved in and out and went up and down hills. The train had carriages and a little key to wind it up. I did that and then we placed the train and carriages on the track and watched it go round and round. Time passed very quickly and, looking at our watches, we realised that our parents would probably start wondering where we were. We packed the train and track back into its box then made sure that all the boxes we had been exploring were closed up again. Then we went to the trapdoor to open it. It was only then that the terrible realisation hit me. 
it was impossible to open the trapdoor from inside the loft. There was no handle. We all tried to lift it up by prising our fingers down the sides. But we couldn't do it. It was only then that we realised how stupid it had been to shut ourselves in the loft without telling anyone where we were. I looked at my friends in disbelief. How on earth were we going to get out of here? I knew that the only way we were going to get out of the loft was to attract my parents' attention, even though I hadn't wanted them to know I'd been in the loft. There was nothing else for it. I started to pound on the trapdoor with my fist and yell for my parents. As soon as my friends saw what I was doing, they joined in too. And soon we were all banging and yelling as loud as we could. After a while, I told them all to stop, and we listened, hoping to hear my parents in the hallway below about to open the trapdoor and let us out. But we heard nothing. It didn't make sense. I took off my shoe and started banging on the trapdoor with that, thinking it would make a louder noise. My friends all joined in. And then we listened again. But there was still nothing. Where were my parents? They must have gone out. Otherwise they would have heard us by now. Oh no. Now there was no one to get us out of here. We all sat down and tried not to panic. Suddenly, the loft seemed to feel so much smaller than it had, and we were longing for some fresh air. We also realised that we were getting quite hungry. It was frustrating just sitting there doing nothing. Surely we could find another way out. Perhaps there was another door, apart from the trap door we'd come through. We decided to have a look around, moving boxes and peering closely at the walls and floor. There was nothing that we could find in the boarded out section. And so, because we were desperate, we decided to explore the rest of the loft. This involved balancing on the rafters under our feet and holding on to the rafters above our heads. It was tricky, and we knew that if we slipped, we could fall straight through the plasterboard and into the room below. As I searched, I suddenly spotted something on the wall ahead of me. It was a small handle and a bolt, another door. We all made our way carefully over to the far wall and crowded round. Yes, it was definitely a door, and it must lead into next door's loft. Was this our way of escape? I pulled on the bolt on the little door. It was very stiff. I pulled harder, and it juddered and thankfully slid across. I opened the little door and we all peered through. Yes, it was definitely next door's loft and it was full of junk. We all climbed through the door one by one. And then realised, with disappointment, that this loft wasn't boarded out at all.
Carefully, we balanced our way along the rafters. Until we reached the trapdoor that led down to my neighbour's house. We all knew what we had to do, and we started to bang and shout just like we'd done before. Someone heard us straight away, and with relief we heard the sound of the trapdoor opening. But just as we thought we were free, one of my friends stumbled and fell into another, who fell into another, and another, until I was jolted from the rafter I was standing on, and I fell onto the plasterboard. My foot went smashing straight through my neighbour's ceiling. Oh no! Now we are really in trouble. <laughs>